just imagine for a moment what the world might look like in 50 years. In the future, every human individual will have a plethora of technologies to augment their bodies. In 1982, both of my legs were amputated due to tissue damage from frostbite incurred during a mountain climbing accident. At that time, I didn't view my body as broken. Technology is broken. I'm an MIT professor today, and I recently started the Center for Extreme Bionics. I realized firsthand the extraordinary capacity of technology to heal, to rehabilitate, and to extend physicality beyond natural levels. For hundreds of years, amputation has been viewed as a procedure that's done when there are no other options. And so fundamentally, the surgery hasn't changed since really the Civil War era. How you feeling? I met Matt Carty. I said, would it be possible to construct this architecture? We just happened to come up with a series of ideas that we said, OK, we should try this out. This seems pretty crazy. I like to make the comparison to recruiting the first astronaut. When I first met with Dr. Carty, he looked at my legs and I would be a good candidate for this new procedure. Having lived with Hugh back in the 80s and climbed together, I knew that amputation wasn't the end of the world. The idea is to better control a bionic foot, which is pretty amazing sort of stuff. We expect that the leg will start to integrate with Jim's sense of identity, and that he will feel that that leg is a part of him. Literally within minutes of having it all connected, it starts becoming part of me. To have this robotic foot doing everything I would normally do in daily life. I think in 20 years, limb amputation will not be a disability. There'll be several dimensions that are actual augmentation and that future is what we should work towards. Mm -hmm.